Slick Quarry is definitely a pretty special place. I mean, I've been coming here, I think it was about 17 or even 16 when I first came here, hitched down from where I was living up in Teesside. And it just blew me away. It was something I'd never experienced before, just this amazing quarry landscape and all the different types of climbing. It's this kind of strange mix of like, like outdoors and industry all put together, which is strangely really compelling. With a route like Mau Mau, I was really excited to get on it. As soon as I saw it from the top of the quarry, I was really excited to get on it. The holds are big, the line's really cool. Things turned out slightly different when I actually got on the route, but in terms of the line itself, it's, it is beautiful. I can remember climbing the Mau Mau, definitely. It was a big route at the time. It was actually given E5, 6A at the time, so E5 was you know, it's a big number. It really appealed to me to try this because it was known as being relatively safe, but hard, physical, pumpy. Just standing beneath it was just awe-inspiring and actually knowing I was going to try it, phew, it's quite intimidating. This could be entertaining. <laughs> I grew up as a competition climber. I'm seven years old, from a very long time. It was always indoors, it was competition, it was safe, there was crash mats. And as I've got older as a climber and experienced more areas of climbing different rock, I've been introduced to different forms of climbing. It's become apparent that I do not want to fall on certain types of climbing. Dewalt soloing and trad being the two main culprits. Like falling is just not an option in my head and I will do anything to not fall. No, I can't. Just don't feel good on it at all. I'm actually pretty sure that if Steve hadn't have been here today to talk me through it, to help me, to kind of guide me through doing this amazing route, I probably wouldn't have actually gone for it because in my head, my safety systems check in and head takes over and tells me to go down instead of up. It was really good going back with Leah to climb it because it was kind of reliving my experience. You know, it was all new to her, the whole slate experience, and she was standing beneath it and looking up, thinking, wow, this looks really amazing, but it looks really hard, just like I felt. You know, I could really appreciate what she was going through. And to see her, like, you know, fighting her way up and battling with it and, and pushing on, yeah, it was great. I was, I was kind of like there with her. I don't like getting scared. Scary me. I watch other people, I see other girls and other guys doing trad climbing, enjoying it so much. And I'm like, I want a piece of that. I want to be involved, like it looks fun. And then I get on and I'm like, oh, this is, this is scary. Like I, I am not ashamed to say that I'm scared when I, when I do these things. And I get pumped stupid because I'm scared, I'm gripping on really hard, but I need to, uh, I need to definitely find a way to relax and develop my own style of able, being able to get through, through things. We'll see how long that takes. You might see me bouldering for a bit after this. <laughs>